Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I have a haul day. I had a mall day haul, and now I have a haul day. So, um, the, yeah, the dogs are playing with the toy. They keep playing tug of war, and I can't make them stop. <laughs> so they're kind of loud. And then, um, yeah. So anyways, and I didn't do anything with my hair because I had a whole bunch of buildup from, um, like, my product, my hairspray, and my, um styling cream and stuff like that it had like a lot of buildup so I had to use a um I used I did a clarifying treatment twice two times in a row today and then I put an oil on it so it's just kind of doing its own thing anyways yesterday I got to go to the mall so that was really exciting for me because I don't really get a chance to go out go shopping too much or wh whatever um being home with mama and um so Keith said you know what go ahead and go to the mall um, I had wanted to go to Bath and Body Works because they were having the $4.95 on Fragrance Mist sale. And I just took a good couple hours to myself and I hung out at the mall. And it was really, really nice and I enjoyed it. So I thought I would share with you guys what I got. Um, so I'll do the Bath and Body Works. And I also got some Victoria's Secret body care too. I'll do that first and then if you're, then you can stop if you're in for that. And uh or if you want to watch till the end and see everything else I got. <clears throat> but we all got treats. I love it when I go shopping and everybody gets a treat. That, that's what makes it fun. But we'll do Bath & Body Works first. So um, all the fine fragrance mists were on sale for $4.95. I was hoping that they would have that new line out of the 10 fine fragrances uh, that are supposed to be like dupes for high end. But they didn't. And I had my 25% off coupon and... I only, if they didn't have that out yet, there was only a couple that I was going to get. And I actually asked the manager on duty, I said, if you have those, if they're coming out, I'm going to save my coupon because it's good till the 7th. And she was like, well, we have them. They're in the back. We can't put them out until Monday, which is kind of a bummer because I've been seeing everybody showing them in videos and stuff like that. But whatever like it's not going to kill me obviously that I didn't get my hands on them but she said they'd be putting them out Monday and she told me to save my coupon <laughs> so that's what I did so I only got three um three and then I had a coupon for a free uh $9.95 item because of my birthday uh, March being my birthday month and so I used that also so the um here is what I got. I got, uh, the first thing I wanted to get, I was really super interested in the, um, bourbon, strawberry, and vanilla. Isn't that such an interesting scent profile? Bourbon, vanilla, garden, strawberry, apricot, nectar, sorry, I should be holding it up, apricot, nectar, pink, jasmine, and white oak. So interesting. Dutch! Hush! Oh my goodness! <laughs> So this one, I thought immediately I was going to be like super, super drawn to it. And it wasn't exactly what I thought. And I actually, I actually sprayed it and when I very first got to the mall. And then I walked around, you know, did all my mall browsing and before I came back to Bath & Body Works and purchased anything. And I wasn't sure how I felt about it. But I do like it. It just doesn't, it's light. Like it seems like it would be heavy. But it's light. It's very light. But like all I got was the fragrance mist because that was all that was on sale. And then I also grabbed Brightest Bloom, which is Lily of the Valley, Jasmine Sam Samback, uh, Garden Carnations, and Fresh Cedarwood. And I didn't know if I would like this one either because obviously it's a floral. But I thought it smelled really nice. Really nice for spring. It's a little bit... I don't know, a little bit fresh, but um, but the dry down on it is really pretty, and I like it. I don't, I don't think I'm interested in getting like the cream or the shower gel in this one though. I I do I do think I want the cream in the um, bourbon, strawberry, and vanilla, but I don't think I'm gonna get the cream in this one, and I think I'll probably layer it because I was like on the fence, but you know like for four ninety five sale. Um, I'm actually going to take the caps off these since I sprayed it in there. I want it to dry out. Um, for, you know, for the $4 sale, it's okay. Um, 
And then the last thing I got was Tropidelic. And this is another one. I didn't think I was going to like this. I wanted to smell it first. The packaging on this is gorgeous. And it's been out for a little while. Um, this says Irresistible Passion Flower, Ylang Ylang, and Misty Rainforest. So automatically, I didn't think I would like this because I am not an aquatics person. I don't like rain scents. I don't like water scents at all. Like, they always give me a headache. And it says embark on a tropical adventure through a mysterious rainforest of sultry, electric, and bold fragrance. Interesting, right? I love this one. <laughs> It's so funny because I really expected to come out loving the bourbon, strawberry, and vanilla the most. And I love this. If I would have known that this was this good, I would never have gotten Meet, meet Me in Miami. Like, this to me is perfect. I only need one, like, tropical type scent at a time. And this is so nice. <laughs> it's so nice. So, for my free item... Then for my birthday, I got the um, the cream to go with it. And it's just so, 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 so pretty. I love the packaging. But this smells so good, you guys. It's really, really nice. So I was happy with that. And then, yes, spoiler, I am planning on going back on Monday and see. I'm going to call first. And if they have that other line out, I'm going to pick up some of that. I, I mean, I'm just telling you guys. I am. I'm doing it. <laughs> So then I went into Victoria's Secret for some of their body care. Sorry, someone is messaging me. Um, and uh, I haven't bought any Victoria's Secret body care in years and years and years. And I had, was talking to a coloring friend of mine recently about all things 90s coming back and early 2000s. And we were talking about Love Spell. And she said she'd been wearing Love Spell. And I was like, oh my gosh, I used to love Love Spell <laughs> and wear all the time. So I went into Victoria's Secret to get Love Spell. That's what I went in to get. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I thought I, I used to love it. Hush, you guys. Behave. So I used to love Love Spell. It was like one of my favorites. I wore it all the time when I was dating Keith. I loved it, loved it, loved it. And it just wasn't getting it for me this time. And I was really disappointed. But that's okay because I found some other stuff that I really, really, really liked. So I will take that stuff out of the bag. So they were having like a five for whatever sale there. Um, and I also went into pink. So I didn't know this, but like our, I thought they were all still one store, but apparently they're not anymore or some of them aren't because at my mall, it's a totally separate store and they're not even like next to each other. They're, you know, further apart. But the girl in the pink store told me that they're getting ready to move back into one store again. So I don't know, interesting. But I didn't, I wasn't really crazy about any of the stuff in the pink store, but I did get some of the Victoria's Secret. So I wanted to try the Bare Vanilla. I have been watching some fragrance channels where people talk about this one and how much they love it. And I never remembered it. I don't know if it's old and I just didn't try it or if it's newer. But this one is Whipped to Vanilla Soft Cashmere and it says Skin to Skin. And it's so nice. I really, 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 I really, really like this vanilla. To me, this smells very much like vanilla fragrance, like, van like vanilla, cooking vanilla. It's nice. I really, really like it. And it's not overpowering. It's like it's like a lighter version of vanilla bean noel. It's it's delightful. And I tell you, you could wear this with anything. I think you could pair it with anything. Like I could pair it with this brightest bloom and really bring that floral note down a little bit. So I got that and I did get the um fragrance lotion also to go with that. And then I tried the Coconut Passion, and this one is Island Coconut Warm Sands Beach Days Forever. And this one is really nice, too. It's a really nice tropical kind of like, I'm trying to spray it. It's nice, but it's not like too suntanny. It's, it's a coconut, but it's more to me like a pure coconut than than like a sunscreeny coconut. I don't know. It's really really nice. I am 
glad I got that one. And I love their packaging. I think it's a little bit kind of like elegant looking. You know, that's nice. I mean, I like Bath and Body Works packaging too. Their la their labels, uh, their wraps on the la on the bottles are beautiful, but this is just kind of kind of elegant looking, you know. So I got the um, lotion that goes with that one, and then I got the other one I used to wear all the time <clears throat> when I first started dating Keith. And his mom and his aunt always used to comment about how good it smelled. Um, is the essential amber? Do you guys remember the essential amber? I was so surprised that they still had it. Deep amber sugar kisses chasing sunsets. But Amber, Am no, not Central Amber. I'm sorry, Amber Romance. Amber Romance. Is it Central Amber from Bath and Body Works? I can't remember. But yeah, I used to wear this one a lot. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, it's so nice. And it brings back really good memories. Very nostalgic for me because it was when I first met Keith and we were so in love. We're still so in love, but very very nice so that was what i got from um victoria's secret and bath and body works as far as their body care and so like i said i am planning on um getting those other fragrances not all of them but some of them uh when they get put out in the store if they were available online with free shipping i, I would get them online either one doesn't matter to me but i'm really interested in the vanilla and the rose one. And you know, when I was in Victoria's Secret, I tried that bare rose. Oh my gosh, it smelled so good. I'm not really into rose scents as a general rule. That smelled really, 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 really nice. But it was ex expensive. It was like, I think the perfume was like $56, which I guess I should say is not expensive compared to like department store fragrances or whatever, or niche fragrances. But I mean, it wasn't in the same, you know, type of category as these these were so um very very nice and in that i think i would prefer the perfume as opposed to the body mist but <clears throat> anyways so the rest of this stuff is just random stuff that i hauled um and if you are interested stick around so i went into macy's backstage i don't know if you guys if your macy's has a backstage but ours does on the second floor and i absolutely love shopping there because it is so stinking cheap it is so cheap <clears throat> so I bought a pair of slippers, which I'm not going to show you because I've already been wearing them. So they're grungy because they got dog hair <laughs> and stuff like that. But I got a pair of slippers. They were $4.95 and then they were 30% off of that. I mean, I was so shocked. I needed another pair of slippers anyways. And I don't want to spend a lot of money on slippers because I'm hard on them. I go outside in them. We have the dog hair, you know, dogs. And just, it's just, I'm hard on slippers. So I didn't want anything fancy. So I got those for $3 and change, and that made me excited. And then I picked up two dresses. And I obviously won't be able to show you what they look like full size, like full length in this haul. But I was thinking that I've also got, um, for my birthday rewards of Torrid, I picked up a dress. And I was thinking if you want me to show you. I used to show uh, my, like, my plus size clothes, my plus size dresses and stuff on, um, on my channel and it's been a long time since I did anything like that but I was thinking I could do a try on video for these but anyways this dress and I tried both of these on in this store because I wanted to make sure they fit because I've gone down a size so I just wanted to be sure that I was really in this size before I purchased it so this is a um well it's a they're both a 1x which I was a 1x before but I think on this one it says it's uh like a 14 16 this is from the brand 90 Clothing Company. And the original price on this one, well, it says $34. Then it said $24.99. And then it was on clearance for, now, one of them was 7 and one of them was 9 I don't remember which. But this, it's like, um, it's black. It's a black base. The sleeves are sheer and they kind of belt out. And it's got all these, like, paisley prints on it. <clears throat> and it's kind of... Uh, a little bit of a ruffle there around the neck. And uh, and then it comes in like snug around the waistline and it flares out. And it goes about to my knee. I think it's kind of like a midi style. And it's just over your head. It doesn't have any um, uh, buttons or a zipper or anything like that. But it's a really fun, fun print. And it's kind of like retro. And it's got a black lining so yeah 
really really pretty so yeah I, i'd be happy to do a try on of these if you guys want me to and then the other one is let me put this one up the other one is really pretty too and this one is kind of retro also this one is uh pink and it's got some orange in it. I love pink and orange. I actually got pink and orange makeup on today. I love pink and orange. And I also have my Amityville Horror t-shirt on today, which is my favorite t-shirt that I own. <laughs> I love this one. This one, it's so it's so comfortable. Keith got this one for me, and I absolutely love it. So this one is from Harper241. And um, this one is a little bit more of like a mini. It goes above the knee, and it's got this really, really cute like gold or their silver silver rings there in the middle and then the sleeves have this little double ruffle going on and it's just really really cute um it's a little bit clingier than the other one i probably will need to wear shapewear with it um but it's just really comfortable it's stretchy and I don't know really really nice so these were one of them was seven and one of them was nine i think this one was nine and this one was seven and they also had a green one that was seven it was a green and yellow and i really was tempted to get it but i'm like i don't need to get it just because it's cheap you know i don't i just don't i have a lot of dresses so so i resisted on that one but that was what i got at macy's and then i also picked up for keith because his birthday is friday but i wanted to get him something just because I like getting treats for people. So I went into Hot Topic for him um, and I w wanted to look at their t-shirts and I tell ya, you guys, I don't know, it's been a long time since I've been at Hot Topic. I used to work at Hot Topic actually. Isn't that funny? Like in the early 2000s, I worked at Hot Topic. But um, I didn't recognize hardly any of the t-shirts. Like I didn't know the bands, I didn't know the anime, I didn't know the video games. <laughs> I was like, geez, Louise. But anyways, their t-shirts were on sale. Buy one, get one half off, I think, is what they were. So I was trying to figure out something that I could get him that, that I would, that I at least knew what was what. So I got him Godzilla. <laughs> Godzilla. And this one's really cool because it's got like the Japanese writing on it very very cool i don't have any idea what it says maybe it says godzilla i don't know so that and then the back of it has um look kind of looks like panels from a from a comic or a graphic novel or something like that so we got him that and then i also got him <clears throat> they had another they had three Godzilla t-shirts one of them had cherry blossoms on it It was really cool looking but they didn't have that in a large which is what he wears they only had an extra large or a medium and so I didn't want to get get it the wrong size so I didn't get that one and then they had one from the movie minus one year one minus one minus one, minus one. and I didn't know if I should get that one or not and I wish I would have now because I think he he saw what it looked like online and he said he liked it pretty well but so I might get him that one but um I did get him this from Fallout, that uh, video game Fallout. And there was two, I knew he played that one before because I remember the big band music that's in it. And I was like, well, I didn't know which one to get. And then this one has a dog in it. <laughs> so, so that's what I got. And the guy kind of looks like a cowboy in a way. So that's what I got for him. And then... I tell you, I, I, I like took my time. I went around to all the stores and I went and got myself a, um, a caramel roll from Cinnabon and a coffee. And I just really got to relax. And then I also got treats for the dogs because you guys, the other night Dutch was such a good boy. Um, my mom had woke up in the middle of the night. It was around four o'clock in the morning and she was trying to, she was, getting ready to leave she was headed for the door she was by the front door um and we haven't had anything like that happen in quite a while and um of course Keith and I were asleep so we didn't know what was going on and Dutch came and woke us up and he he came and got up on the bed and you know was like you get up get up 
<laughs> so, so he pre he he helped us have saved us from a disaster. So I got treats for him and Thor. Now I already gave them. Well, they got Keith divided one of them up for them yesterday. But we have this store in our mall called the Wiggle Waggle Barkery. And there's two of them. There's one in Ann Arbor in the Briarwood Mall and then one here in <clears throat> Taylor, but this is their little logo. And they gave me a punch card too, which is really nice because you get free treats. It's so cute. I mean, it's like a real bakery. They have like a case, a display case, and you go in and you pick what you want. So we got them. Well, I picked them out each. Let me, let me show you this without, I don't want to get it on my fingers. Because there's one left, we'll probably give them this one. Ooh, I'm getting it on my fingers. Uh, tip. Okay. Yeah, I just stuck my finger in there. Yuck. Anyways, this one, they're like, it's like a whoopie pie. Like a, I don't know if you can see it. It's like a whoopie pie. It's got cream. Well, I'll just pick it up. <laughs> At this point, it doesn't matter. It's two cookies. There you go. It's two cookies, and the cookies are made of carob, and the inside is peanut butter mixed with, like, some... <laughs> oh, here he comes. Buddy, not yet. Not time right now. Um, yeah, so it's got, like, peanut butter and um, carob and some cream and stuff like that. Uh, everything, obviously, safe for dogs. So we gave them one of them yesterday. We split it between the two of them. I got this stuff on my fingers. And then they also had these cookies. So I got them each. <laughs> I got them each a cookie. Uh, well, we got two each. So there's llama. A llama cookie. And the other one is shaped like a pig. So they each get a pig. And no, 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 buddy, you gotta wait. No, we gotta wait. We gotta wait. You'll get one in just a minute. So that's what they got. They got treats from the Barkery. <laughs> and then the last thing, in my birthday haul video, I showed you guys the um, uh, movies that Keith got me for my birthday, the um, Nun 2 and The Conjuring 3. And I told you we didn't have the La, the only ones we were missing was the La Llorona one. So this came in the mail today. He grabbed this. Um, I think you said he got it. Did you get it from eBay? So that one, and we saw this in the theater and when we saw it in the theater, we were kind of disappointed in it. But when we rewatched it again, like on HBO Max or something, we liked it better. So I'm excited to see it again. And then, cause I don't know, there's something about like movies like these that are like in a, like a series or a chain, not, what am I saying? Like they're not necessarily sequels, but like a universe or a franchise or whatever. On days where it's like gloomy and you don't have anything to do or you can't go anywhere or whatever, it's kind of nice to just sit down and have like a marathon of, of these type of movies. Like I love doing that with like the Paranormal Activity movies or anything like that. So I'm excited to have a Conjuring Universe Day. I'll tell you which one I think is really good. I, well, they're all good, but I'm telling you Annabelle 2... Annabelle 2 is really scary to me. That one's really good. And then the other movies... Huh? I think it's called Annabelle creation yes that one is really really good um and then he grabbed this one too and this is an old one stir of echoes do you guys remember this one with kevin bacon in it i i used to really like this movie i think it's super creepy it's sad it's sad but it's creepy you know it's it's sad but creepy so that my friends is my happy holiday um it was like i got to go to the mall and just hang out it was so 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 nice i was a little disappointed first world problems 100 percent you know um saying this and all lighthearted i was a little bummed that they didn't have my uh sense that i was going for at bath and body works in the 4.95 sale that would have been awesome because I was seeing them all over YouTube and Instagram, all these other people, and especially people in Ohio, because their headquarters are in Ohio and I'm in Michigan. So I was like, maybe we have them being that close. But but I was thankful that the manager told me that they had them in the store. They were just in the back and they wouldn't be out until Monday. So at least I know that my store has going to have them, you know. Um, but she did tell me that the other store, because there's two stores I use in my area. We actually have four in my area, um, but there's three of them. 
one of them I barely ever use, one of them I don't use at all, one of them I barely use, and then the other two I kind of use quite often, and one of them isn't getting them, she said, and their store is, so uh, the one in my mall is getting them, so I'm excited. So I will show those uh, to you guys when they come, although everybody else is probably already <laughs> been showing them anyway, so... Alright you guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got in my happy holiday. And um, stay tuned and I'll have some more Bath and Body Works content, body care content and stuff like that coming for you. And uh, question or comment below and I'll see you in the next video.